Hey, what's up, Brotherhood Channel? Happy Friday. Ooh, the camera got it weird. But look, that's little, that's little me right there. Um, but yeah, this week's topic is basically a day in the life, but kind of like trying to look at our lives as transgender men or transgender people versus like cis people. Um, and honestly, I don't think that there are many differences in the life of a transgender person and life of a cisgender person. Of course, there's going to be things like, um, depending on how much you pass and stuff, if there's misgendering and stuff like that, um, there's you know, different organizations and groups that transgender people might be a part of, but um, cisgender people can be a part of their own different kinds of groups and stuff like that. So that's not necessarily a uniquely trans thing, except for the kinds of groups. There's, of course, shots and stuff like that, but there's lots of cisgender people who deal with certain kinds of needing different kinds of shots and stuff, and even sometimes hormones. So, you know, it all just depends. I think overall lives are not super different. A, a daily life um, for someone's not super different if you're trans or cis, um, at least in my experience, especially now that I pass, that's, that's kind of how things are for me. Maybe a few more doctor's appointments and of course like I said shot day but it just depends but if we're talking about right now currently um just to kind of give you a rundown of a typical day in my life I'm not even doing like shots right now so if this is like maybe like six months ago then someday once every two weeks I would go make my way to the to the wellness center on my college campus and have the nurses give me a shot there. Um, if I really wasn't feeling like going, sometimes I'd be able to do the shot myself. I used to do the shot myself all the time uh, for a few years, and then I started going to the nurse, um, and I'd have to pay like $18 at first, and it went up to $20, so it's not like for free. It's it's definitely sucks that I have to pay um, when I can do it for free myself if I can just like kind of get over that anxiety. But currently I'm not even doing shots, so that's not even a part of my daily life any days. Um, but the thing about my days, they really, like, change based on the day. So, like, um, Monday, Wednesday, Monday and Wednesday, I have classes um, at school. I have my first class at 8 a.m., so I get up pretty early. I get up around 6, um, and I try to get breakfast at the cafeteria at 7. The cafeteria opens at 7, so I try to get there right at 7 and eat. Some days I do, some days I don't, and I end up just eating like a yogurt from my dorm room. Um, but then around 7.20, 7.30, I leave, and uh, sometimes I get a ride from my sweet mate if he's up, but I don't like to like bother him around that, that early, so usually I'll just walk to... My class and it's not that far a walk it's it's like 10 15 minutes um and then I have a break so I'll usually go back to my dorm and then I have another class at noon so then I'll either get a ride from my suite mate or walk or ride the bus to that class and it's a little bit further than my first class and then I have a one hour break and I have a class at three so I'll go to that class. Um, I'll kind of pick up a snack in between those and then go to that class. Usually sit outside and wait for that class because I'll be there early because I don't have time to go back to my dorm. So I just kind of stay out around where my class is, pick up some snacks, eat my snacks, all that. Then I have that class, then I'm done for the day and I'll usually just go back to my dorm, eat again um, at the cafeteria usually and uh, do some homework if I have some, just kind of relax, like watch Netflix, watch YouTube. I'm a pretty boring person. I'm trying to get more like active, like work some exercise into my routine or, or interacting with people, but I'm still working on that. So um, pretty pretty much that's that's my days when I have class. Other days I don't have class, so like Tuesday and Thursday I have counseling sessions with um, my counselor. I have on Tuesday, I have a counseling session at 1 for now, but we're changing it to, to 11 soon so that I can go to uh, art therapy on my campus 
at two. Yeah. Um, wait, what did I just say? Okay, so yeah, we're changing it to 11 soon so that I can go to art therapy at two because right now it's at one and, and it ends at two so that wouldn't give me enough time to make it to art therapy. Um, but yeah, right now I just have counseling with my session. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, a session with my counselor on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have a counseling session at 2.30. So I kind of just hang around my dorm, eat, um, until I have my counseling session, and then um, I usually take a nap after my counseling session because they're kind of like emotionally um, exhausting for me. Um, so that's kind of my day on those days. And then the weekends, I usually do come home um, from school and kind of just hang out with my parents. Sometimes we go to some sporting events at my college. Sometimes we go to the casino because they like to do that. I don't usually like usually all right sorry about that i got a phone call it was like um yeah it was someone speaking a different language and so it was a recording so anyways um yeah but uh when we go to the casino if i go with them they'll usually get a hotel room so i can just kind of hang out in the hotel room uh because i don't really Go do much at the casino. I don't really have like my own source of income, so I don't I can't really do that much. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit if they give me a little bit of money to play with. Um, but I'm usually done way before they are, so I just like to go back to the dorm. So I have some homework to do today. Um, yeah, those are pretty much my days. I'm really trying to work exercise into my routine, though. I actually have one of my classes right now um, is a behavior change class, and that's one of my goals is to start exercising just a little bit. Um, just even like 10 minutes a day of doing like jumping jacks. I just talked to my counselor about that yesterday. It might be a good start. So I am trying to get a little bit into that. Sometimes I ride the bike to class. I walk to class. So I get exercise in, that, in those ways, but I want to like make an actual effort to exercise even when it's not to like transport myself to somewhere I need to be. So kind of working on that. But that's basically what my days are like. Um, they're a little different each day um, but that's a basic gist um, I either have class or I have counseling or I'm at home with my parents and that's kind of about it I know I kind of like yeah I didn't give you like a straight day but I wanted to kind of share both I think as a transgender person shot days are probably the most different from a lot of cisgender people but I don't do that anymore um, counseling, a lot of cisgender people obviously go to counseling, need counseling, um, benefit from counseling, but uh, in my counseling sessions, me being trans and my experiences with that, they're not the main focus of what we talk about and what we work on, but they're definitely a part of it, so there is that, um, but other than that, I don't really like think that my daily life is much different than anyone else's daily life out there, um, just in college trying to get good grades. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So anyways, thanks guys for watching this video. I'll see you all next week. As always, stay strong, stay safe, and stay you. I love you all. Peace.